Hi, this is Chris Lawrence from Auto Academics, and today we're going to be talking a little bit with Jennifer Shaw and Rebecca Seiler from Ford Motor Company. They're going to be highlighting some of the some of the new safety technology available on the 2013 excuse me Ford Fusion. Um, so as we begin, would both of you mind sharing what your title means, as well as briefly share your role in the development of this technology? My group, um, I manage a group of about 10 engineers, and we are responsible for three main subsystems. Um, camera system, so the rear video camera on Fusion is in my group. Um, we do the blind spot monitoring and cross-traffic alert systems, which are radar-based systems. Um, and then we're also responsible for the parking aid features, ultrasonic parking aid, the front parking aid, reverse parking aid, and active park assist, which is our automatic parallel parking feature. Okay. And I'm Rebecca Seiler, and I'm an active safety product engineer, and I work on writing and developing the clear warning and brake support algorithm. All right, very good. Thank you. Now, safety technology is a very important factor nowadays when purchasing a vehicle, and so many advances have been made in recent years that it impacts the buying decisions people make, especially when considering pre-owned versus new vehicles. There was a time when parents purchasing a car for their young teenage drivers focused primarily on price, but now many battle with not spoiling their child with a new car and getting one that has the latest safety technology included. So um, if we could take a moment, if you guys wouldn't mind sharing some of the new safety technology that the 2013 Ford Fusion is going to be available with. some braking technologies to help guide you back into the lane or how exactly or is it more just audible signals that it gives you?
But the aid feature, which you can turn on separately or you can turn it on with the alert, that will actually provide you some steering feedback. So it's not braking, but the steering is kind of nudging you back into the lane. Okay. And it doesn't, sometimes people ask, does it start steering for me? It doesn't actually start steering for you. It's just going to give you the nudge that you need to get yourself back in the lane. And quite honestly, when you're driving the car and you feel that, it is enough to kind of, you know, wake you up, you know, and, get, and alert you so that you're then in control of the vehicle again. Okay. So a Rebecca works out a feature that is, you know, definitely critical at higher speeds. My, my features are mostly at lower speeds, but if you want to speak to Right. But you addressed the question of um, should parents buy their children um, an older car that's at a better price or consider a newer car with all these technologies. And um, we feel in the 2013 fusion that there's such an elaborate suite of the driver assist technologies and active safety technologies that it's very exciting to offer this kind of technology in our mid-sized mainstream brand. So Jennifer has discussed a lot of the driver assist technologies, and in my group we work on more of the active safety technologies. So this car also offers adaptive cruise control, and that uses a radar in the front of the vehicle and monitors the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. And then you can preset the following distance that you'd like with that vehicle, and adaptive cruise control will automatically adjust the vehicle's speed to keep to maintain that distance that you preset. And if the vehicle in front of you start decreasing their speed rapidly, then um, the system will alert the driver that they need to pay attention to the situation ahead. This is more of a it should never take away the driving, but it, it adds to the convenience of um, heavy driving on the freeway or congested traffic. Um, the other uh, feature that I work on is collision with brake support, and that's more for an actual collision. And so that utilizes the same radar as the adaptive cruise control, and we monitor the vehicles in front of us. And in the event of a possible collision, we give a warning to the driver on the windshield and a light that goes on the windshield as well as an audible alert that they'll hear. And then if they have a delayed response to that warning, we start to pre-charge the brake system for them. So that when they do apply the brakes by themselves, the brakes um, will go on much more rapidly than if we didn't pre-charge the system, and they'll get more braking than they would have without the system. And the system also monitors other driver inputs, so if the driver is taking their foot off the throttle and going towards the brake to respond to the collision ahead, then the system will apply a nominal amount of braking for the driver. And if the driver applies the brakes rapidly, then the system will give the driver full brake assist, full braking capabilities, so that they can avoid or mitigate the collision. Okay. Now, it's interesting you mentioned that because um, I was able to attend a, um, a intelligent vehicle demonstration that uh, Ford presented, uh, I guess it was last winter. And um, uh, they had us in Ford Explorers that had... Uh, I don't know if it was exactly that technology or if it was just versions of that technology in it. And um, it actually was a little bit disheartening riding in the backseat of that vehicle knowing exactly what the demonstration was going to be about, but uh, knowing that I also didn't have any control over the vehicle. And I've got to say, though, that it, it worked fantastic. And it's something that um, I'd be very interested in having in um, my vehicles because it was able to basically, as you said, see around uh, obstacles and things. Having worked with the 2012 Focus Electric, am I correct with that? Did You, you did work with that, sir. Okay. Um, were there any lessons that you and your team learned that you were able to implement in the 2013 Fusion? Um, well, you know, my, my job function was quite a bit different on the Focus Electric. So okay. I was looking more over the entire electrical system as opposed to just driver assist and extra safety. Uh, but I think actually one thing that I learned, not just on that program, but on other programs as well, is how important it is that we develop systems that are easy for the customer to use and provide a really good experience for the customer. So particularly with the Focus Electric, there's a lot going on in that vehicle. There's a lot we want to communicate with the customer. You know, you've got a battery now that you have to pay very close attention to. You don't want to run out of charge. There are a lot of, there's a lot of anxiety in general around that sort of topic. Um, and we have so much information that we want to share with the customer, but we can't become overzealous and just throw too much at them. It needs to be simple, easy to use, and I think that's true of all of our systems, driver assistance and active safety as well. Um, we need to make sure that we design a customer interface 
to be as simple as possible and yet deliver as much assistance and function as we can. And that's something that the team within Ford, within electric, our electrical group at Ford, has really been focusing on over the last few years is how do we deliver these features and these new technologies without them becoming overwhelming. Um, with them, the interface to the customer being as simple as possible and as useful as possible. Exactly. That's very important.